What's up you guys, it's Jeremy Ray and welcome back to another video. Inside of this one, we're gonna be going over exactly how to find winning products for your Shopify dropshipping store or your e-commerce business in general. All we're gonna be doing to find winning products is searching on social media by using our phone. If you already have social media accounts, you can use those, but honestly, I recommend starting with a brand new account and making this kind of your product research account and you'll see why in the future. You're not gonna actually use this account for anything other than searching for products. It's called a burner account. We're gonna use TikTok for the example, I have my brand new TikTok account pulled up and you should just do this exact same thing. Just open your phone, go on the brand new TikTok account you made or Instagram. All you're gonna do is navigate down to this friends section. So to the left, you can just go to friends or on the left side of this little plus, you can click the search bar. And within this search bar, now we're just gonna search up different things that would relate to products. So for example, helpful products. Then we're gonna go through here and we're gonna just look for dropshipping products like this one, this clearly. So we're just gonna watch through this video until the very end, maybe go into the comment section and say something, you know, I love this, boom. And then maybe wait and then wait till the end and then save the video at the end of it. Maybe even go and put it in your camera roll. This is basically showing TikTok that you're very interested in this type of content. So now TikTok's gonna show you more of that kind of content. Now we've got another video, same sort of thing. Just go like it, right? If it's an ad, you click learn more, you go to the website. Once you're on the website, you can add the product to cart. Once you add it to cart, just leave the website, go back on TikTok, keep scrolling. You guys, if you do this every single time you see a product or an ad, your feed is just going to be filled with products and ads that are hitting, and you're gonna have an account that's showing you winning products consistently. Because when we're looking for winning products and when we're doing this, all we're searching for is something that's currently making sales and going viral. But now that you guys have everything set up and you have a basic understanding of what we're gonna be doing on this app when it comes to searching for products, I'm gonna explain what you need to actually look for in specific when it comes to deciding out of all these videos which one you should choose or which product you should choose from these videos to actually sell yourself. A couple ideas are just to put any sort of word that's interesting before products. So for example, like best products, any word that's like descriptive before the word products, pet products, right? Or top products right? Whatever you want to search in there, just something products, or you could do helpful gadgets, useful gadgets, best gadgets, beauty products, makeup products, hair products, pet products, jewelry products, clothing products, whatever type of products, just search it up in there. Helpful products is just one that I like to go to. I've said products like a thousand times in the past one minute. What you're going to do is go up in these three dots in the top right. There's these three little dots right up here in the top right. You're going to click filters and you're going to filter by last three months and like count, then click apply. Now you're going to only see the most relevant products products that are going viral right now. You're not gonna see stuff that was relevant last year, three years ago, four years ago. You're gonna see stuff that's going viral and making sales right now, which is the most important thing that you can possibly see because we want something that's working right now. All right, you guys, so as we were scrolling, I came across this product. This is a perfect one to keep going with for an example. So this product has went viral organically and got over a million views in the last three months. It also has 13.8 thousand likes, so 13,800 likes, 71 comments, and 4,897 saves. This product is an automatic mouthwash dispenser. So essentially what this thing does is you put it on your wall and it dispenses mouthwash for you automatically. This is definitely a product that has potential, so this is another one that we would check out and save. All right, you guys, so now that we went on TikTok or Instagram or both preferably and searched for products and got a bunch of ideas of potential products we could sell, we're gonna hop over to Dropship.io and verify the sales on the products. So basically, you guys, what Dropship.io is, is a sales tracker tool that allows you to track the sales Sales of any Shopify store. So with all the stores we just found, we can literally take the links of those stores, paste them into the sales tracker in Dropship.io and see how much money they're making. This is gonna tell us if the product's making sales. The two pieces of criteria we care about that determine if we should sell a product or not are is it going viral and is it making sales? So with that being said, what we're gonna do is go over to the sales tracker once we're inside of Dropship.io and we're just gonna paste the Shopify link right inside of here. Then once you paste the Shopify link to whatever store it is, which you find by just going right here. Say you have a Shopify store, let's just do something like Fashion Nova, for example. Say you have Fashion Nova, all you're gonna do on the store that you wanna track is you go up here, 
you copy the link, you paste it in here, and then you click start tracking. Basically, Dropship IO is gonna pull this up and it's gonna offer you the data. Obviously, if it says untrackable, that means it's untrackable. There are certain stores you're not gonna be able to track. As you can see, there's a lot of stores right here that don't have any data, but there's also a lot that do have data. So I'd say probably 30 to 50% of stores you're gonna be able to track at sometimes it's even higher. It just really depends on what stores you're getting, but they have to be a Shopify store. However, I just throw every type of store in here. I'm, you know, you obviously don't really know a lot of times if it's a Shopify or if it's a this or that. You can use the inspect tool and go into the code and see, but it's easier to just save all the links you find, throw them in here, see if they track. Some of them will, some of them won't. If they do, you guys, you're literally able to see their sales yesterday, sales last seven days, sales last 30 days. And what we're really looking for is just to see that they're making over 1K a day. As you could see, some brands are doing crazy numbers. This brand has done $92 million in the last 30 days. This brand has done 295,000 in the last 30 days, which sounds substantially small compared to this one. But look at this, $5 million in sales yesterday on this brand. Absolutely crazy, you guys. We've got some drop shipping products down here doing sales today, 2K per day. You guys are getting just giving some winning products right now, but check this one out. Montessori Garden, 19K today, 13K yesterday, right? So there's some stores that are doing crazy numbers, and a lot of these products you guys find, you'd be surprised how much money they're actually making once you go and search them up. But now that you're able to see the sales, you're pretty much able to judge if you should sell it or not. If it's making sales over a couple hundred to a thousand dollars a day, and it's going viral on TikTok, this is a sign that you should sell the product. Now let's talk about what you should do for the stores that aren't trackable. So you guys, if you can't track a store, say for example, I really wanna sell this product, but I can't track it, right? If I wanna make sure that product is still verifiable, another thing you can do instead of tracking the sales is just check the comment sections on the people's post. Because even though you can't track the sales, if people are saying they want it, they need it, I like it, this is amazing, this is the best, it means it's still a product that has high demand and people are likely buying it. Dropship IO also has a lot of other stuff on here, you guys, AdSpot, Dropship University suppliers, a bunch of other stuff that you guys can check out too. Another cool thing you might use once you find a product that's working is the competitor research. You could literally go in here type in whatever product you want to sell fidget search so say we're selling a fidget toy you can go in here and you can see a bunch of other shopify stores that are also selling fidget toys so this is really sick and then you can click the track button and track the sales right from here so if you want to see all your competitors or if you see a product on tiktok and you're like hey i don't know if anybody's selling this but let me see you can just go in here type in the name of the tiktok product and see if there's any stores and if there are copy the link or just click track right here boom and you're going to be able to track the product or the store whatever one you want all right you guys so the next thing I want to talk about is a really cool tool called Zendrop. Zendrop is obviously what I recommend you guys use for suppliers, but they also have a, or for a supplier, I should say, but they also have a really, really cool winning product catalog that's actually based off analytics from social media, including TikTok, which is really, really cool, you guys. Right inside of Zendrop, if you guys have access to Zendrop, or if you don't, you guys are gonna have to use them as a supplier at some point or want to. And for that reason, I wanna show you guys how to use their winning product searching software, because although I don't always recommend using softwares, and I really do think going the organic way on on social media is great. The more options you have, the better. But if you guys don't already have access to Zendrop, just go to the link in the description and I've got a direct link that's gonna give you a super crazy deal that Zendrop worked out just for me and my community to give to you guys. So make sure you guys click that link if you don't already have Zendrop. But once you're inside, all you're gonna do is go to the trendy product section. So what this is, is just a bunch of products that are currently trending or have trended like crazy on TikTok in the past and have been selling like crazy. Obviously, Zendrop has a lot of data to base Base this off of because they're literally a supplier. It's a lot different than having some random software come out and say, hey, we find winning products by pulling from this, this, and that. Zendrop's giving you data from Zendrop, which is literally what's selling. They are a supplier. They know what's selling more than probably anybody. As you click inside, you can click in and see all the info on each product, which is super sick. And you could also literally add the product to your store directly from the winning product research software because it's your supplier. It's Zendrop, which is crazy. So if you just click add to my products and boom, now I can literally put it on my store. If I want to check out more about the product, how much it costs, every sort of thing like that, shipping, a little bit bigger description, more pictures, you can see all that by just clicking in there, which is really, really crazy. You guys could also click here to find ads and competitors on Mania, which Zendrop is partnered with. The next thing I want to talk about inside this video is Pippi ads. So I know throughout this video, we've talked a lot about how do you find winning products for TikTok organic, right? We've been looking on TikTok organic to find products that we're going to sell organically on TikTok with 
without paying for ads. But I know a lot of you guys out there wanna run ads too, so I wanted to give a resource that's gonna be really helpful for finding winning products when it comes to running ads, especially if you're running TikTok ads. So when it comes to running TikTok ads, you guys, what you're gonna be doing to find products to sell is literally the same thing that I showed you guys for the organic method, but instead of looking for videos that aren't sponsored posts, we're gonna only be looking for sponsored posts. Then once we find sponsored posts or products that might be selling based off what we're finding when we're scrolling, we can go here and search and see a little more in depth on if they're really, really selling. So say we find a sponsored post for a watch and we wanna see if there's a bunch of watches that are selling on TikTok ads that we could possibly replicate or sell, sell ourselves. We could go here and just type in watch, click enter, and then basically once you click enter, I spelled that wrong, watch, and then boom, click enter. Now we're gonna see all the ads that pop up of watches. So watch, let's type in maybe, let's type in, or let's do this, boom, watch. Now we'll scroll down. You guys are gonna see a lot of random stuff, of course, but right here, for example, 6.4 million impressions in 27 days. That means they're definitely spending money on this ad, right? And the only reason somebody would spend money on an ad right this says literally estimated ad cost 2.6k to 10.7k is estimated what they spent on this ad in the last 27 days the only reason somebody in their right mind would spend money on an ad like this if they're outside of the testing phase or this much money on an ad is if it's making money so you could pretty much guarantee that this company is making money off this ad otherwise they wouldn't be running it we could even go to their TikTok by just clicking there obviously it looks like their account got taken down or it's not there anymore and we could go to their TikTok shop if it's available obviously we can't find it right here if we click right there now we can find it right here you guys so this is the TikTok shop that's selling it but pretty crazy that they have this many impressions and they've only been running it for 27 days so this is basically the platform that you're going to use to do exactly what we're doing right now which is find more ads or more similar products to what you're seeing on social media that's already doing well if you want to look for running potential tiktok ads in the future another cool thing you could do this for is if you have a product that's already selling on free traffic and you want to see hey will this maybe sell on ads you can take whatever product it is say the sunset lamp and you can see, hey, I'm selling it organically and making money, but is this gonna do well on ads? Search it up, and now you can see if people are running it successfully on ads. So as you can see right here, this person's clearly running it successfully. They've been running this ad for 276 days. They've been running this one for 125. So these are good ads that you could replicate yourself when you go to scale your product from just an organic brand to also a brand that's utilizing paid ads as well. But a really cool opportunity with Pippi ads, just a great product in general. There is a bunch of other things you could do on here too with Pippi ads, but I primarily just use the TikTok ad search. So so I really just wanna talk about that in this video because it is the thing that I feel is the most important on this software to talk about for this video. With that being said, you guys, we went over an absolute ton inside this video. And if you learned something, I wanna hear about it in the comments. So make sure you guys go to the comment section and let me know one thing you learned. I'm gonna be picking one person from the comment section once this video hits 500 likes and building them a dropshipping store myself for completely free with a product that me and them pick together. So if you want that opportunity, make sure you drop a comment below saying, either one thing you learned or just comment the word Shopify dropshipping or a nice message or a video you want to see next. But above everything, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. It truly means the world to me and I'm going to do my best to bring you guys the best content I possibly can always and help you guys keep creating. With that being said, my name is Jeremy Ray and I'll see you guys inside the next one. Peace out.